I know what it's about. Yeah. I just love, like, that's how I always knew I was gay. <laughs> oh, I was. What in the zest is going on? Hey, how y'all doing? It's getting zesty, zesty. Yes, indeed. Don't we just love it, y'all? All right, so, uh, Young Miami, DJ cut the beat. Young Miami, she in some stuff today, honey. She came out talking about she uh, zesty. You know, she would love to be with Megan Thee Stallion. And Megan Thee Stallion said she would love to get on. I guess she going to be on top. She going to pound uh, Young Miami. Yeah. She said, girl, I'll pound the hell out of you. Yeah, girl. And you know what I thought? I got the video right here. I'm going to play it in a minute. I said, it makes sense. Puff Daddy with Young Miami. Puff Daddy on the down low, Zesty. Young Miami, Zesty. Zest on Zest. Hey! <laughs> but a lot of people do it. You know, a lot of, you know, you know, you have a gay man or a down low man and a gay woman. You know what I'm saying? And they become a couple and nobody in their business. And they live happily ever after. Sometimes they even have kids to keep people out their business in the past. Yeah, that's what they say back in history, honey. Um, so uh, it's just interesting. Now, I will tell you one thing. I went over to my girlfriend channel, Be With The T, and they said they are exposing young Miami. They said she's out here clouting, being zesty uh, for, for likes and views. Look at the title. Carisha, that's young Miami. Gets called out for being gay, zesty, for clout, okay? Uh, yeah, so I'm like, what's going on? So is she really zest or is she really not? She just doing it for attention. And then I was watching a little bit of video. I didn't watch the whole video, but they are saying that Young Miami was very, uh, you know, homophobic in the past, especially when it comes to her son. She was saying stuff like she would take her son out of here if he end up to be zesty or if he end up to be a saucy Santana. She said, I don't care. I don't want my son to be a saucy Santana. Even though that's her best friend, but she would take herself out of here and her son out of here if he ever, you know, start behaving like a saucy Santana or bring another man home. So people are calling her out, honey. Now, from B with the T, they said that she came out apologizing for what she said about her son, honey. But, you know, people do grow. You know what I'm saying? So, and now, she with a whole zesty man. You know, everything around here is just zesty, zesty, zesty. But you know what? Stop the beat. They do say it's something with them people that's homophobic. They got a lot of zest in them. You know what I'm saying? They just hiding it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she was homophobic because she was insecure about her zesty ways in the inside. That's what I think because she, the zest is, zest is all around this girl. From her boyfriend to her best friend to who she want to sleep with. <laughs> I ain't mad at a girl. Go ahead. All right, so check this out. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love porn. What I kind of porn you like to watch? I, I I swear to God, the only type of porn that turn me on is girl on girl porn. Porn. Mm. I I don't want to see a nigga fucking no bitch. I okay. already know what it's about. Yeah. I just love like that's how I always knew I was gay. <laughs> oh, I was bisexual. Right. Cause I like. Nah, tell the truth. She said that's how she always knew she was gay. Ain't nothing wrong with it now. Shout out. We love. I love. I love the gays. Hey. Okay. Shout out. Come on. I love. Girls just, are so sensual. Yeah, I feel like we know how to like please each other. It's straight to the point. You know, but yeah. I feel like girl sex could last like two days. <laughs> bitch, when you you tired, no, bitch, is you tired? <laughs> like, <laughs> it can just keep going. Yeah, but I do feel like. Do I want to put this out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'ma just do it because I'm with you. <laughs> I do feel like um, for me, it must be for me. Um, mm -hmm. It's better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing no wrong with it, Meg. Honestly, I think y'all are make a cute-ass couple. You know what I'm saying? Meg and Young Miami. I don't know if the black community will accept y'all. You know, because you know how they act. 
But, um, shoot, I think y'all make a beautiful couple. You know what I'm saying? I can see that working. And young Miami, she was scared to stay, but she enjoys, you know, uh, being with women way more than she does with men. And I know she's not enjoying Puff Daddy, okay? <laughs> I know she's not enjoying that shit right there. Okay? <laughs> yeah, does it even get her? Let me let me not go there. But I they probably ain't doing it. You know, they zest zest. He go his way, she go her way. But uh it's interesting. I'm happy that Steve Stalin and Young Miami having this conversation. I love their chemistry. I love their friendship or whatever they got going on. And I'm sure they probably do y'all think they did to do already? You know, I don't know. It was hard. I was like, damn, do I take these people serious or are they kidding or what's going on? But um, I do like that connection. I will. I ain't going to lie. I, mm -hmm, I see that. All right. Well, comment. Let us know what y'all think about this. And I'll see y'all on another video. DJ, come on. Get me on out of here. Get me on out of here. Uh-huh. Where you at? Yeah, take it from the top, DJ. Come on, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. All right, I'm out, y'all.